Right, we are doing our social services. Service, community service. Um, not mandatory, we're doing it for free. Now you remember I've been fighting this thing going, oh man, this place that I live in since 97, I was sure I bought it from the county. They said it was a low income housing. That's why I thought, well, when the police came to my door, uh, I thought they knew that. And I thought, whoa, why are they going after their own people, their own kind? Uh, well, we just were reading. There's a whole bunch of these new signs that they put up all over here. And this was a park my daughter used to play in all the time when she was growing up. I'm going to show you what the sign says. But it does say that actually it's private. So those two public correctional officers broke into my house and did what they did. It was a private thing, so they were trespassing. How come it said trespassing on my report? That's what they're saying online. I don't remember me trespassing, but right, they want me to forget about it, don't loop. I'm not going to, I'm going down to the social services right down the street and we're gonna get welfare. I don't think those correctional officers back then cared about my welfare. What did they care? They weren't from this county. One was from Santa Maria, one was from Lompoc. Nowhere near this Nolita. Um, but we don't care. We have our library over there, which is a public one. Yeah, maybe that's why they're putting the signs up, going, dudes, remember, that's a public library. Perhaps you're going to find um, Rage by Richard Bachman, and maybe the pages have been altered. We don't know. All we know is that we are tracking these. This place is so small. My brother-in-law lives down there. He's Israeli. Right next to him is the Palestinian family. They live together in harmony. Right up the street there is the uh, sheriffs. That's why I was kind of upset that you guys let these trolls pretend to report me. I walk down there, I film it, I show you that it's closed. We're trying to take Sunday off, but it showed like, who were you guys listening to? Like they kept saying they're reporting this, they're doing this. Who were they calling? Were they yelling out Creedon, Creedon? Anyways, I'm gonna show you our library. Um, it's a take one and give one. Now we're gonna take this to walk down and read during the social services because it seems like there's gonna be a lot of people. And so we don't wanna be the ones staring at our phone, right? We use our phones to document history. But we'll be reading this. Maybe we'll read it with you. I don't know, we'll probably be quiet inside of this social service building because we're the opposite of these um, First Amendment auditors. We're not causing problems. We're mute. We don't ask the questions. You're going to see. We're going to allow the others to ask the questions because if we don't allow these others that we are paying, and that means I'm their boss, I got to be allowing them to speak, not just me saying that the First Amendment is this or that. So to explain this to you, the difference between satire and parody and First Amendment audits, um, I'm leaving this book, The Theater of Protest and Paradox. Um, somebody put something inside of it and that, I know that's one of you trolls and I don't like it. And I'm pointing it out because there are 10 people in the hall. They are my witnesses. Whomever you are, chat is on. Go for it. Um, let's see what the person left us. First of all, for YouTube, this is a, a real thing. Oh, my God. Right when I'm showing this, being like, this is not artificial intelligence. This 
I don't have to write that. This is real. Someone put that in there. This is the person that it said 78.76% of you think that this is okay. With every action, my administration is restoring the rule of law and reasserting the culture of American freedom. Donald J. Trump, I said the same thing, but without a golden pistol that works. That any kid can get this. Luckily, there's only 20 of them. So we're going to find out by re- inventing ourselves, backwards engineering, star 69ing, we're going to find out what this number is. Then we're going to find out who in the 2020 bought these. You remember that I'm having trouble defending myself. I guess he isn't. You want to see? Only 20 numbered pistols per state. Fully functioning Springfield Armory, 1911, a .45 ACP, 24 karat gold with selective jeweler, jeweler's nickel finish, easy payment plans available. I just talked to my nine-year-old. She was telling me, what is this APR thing? Is it all right if I, you know, spread out these payments for this thing? And I said, whoa. We want to continue your legacy as the American Legacy Firearms Incorporated. www.americanlegacyfirearms.com Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. 7 to 7 p.m. Saturdays, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Mountain S Central Time, Mountain System. I don't know, it's Smithfield. Fort Collins, Colorado. Colorado, why are you doing this? Available on a fully functional Springfield, Springfield Armory 1911 chambered. This handgun, it's a perfect gift to commemorate Trump's presidency. Now this would be him with the Adidas, right? Looking all prison. No, we're taking this. Whoever put that in there, you're not understanding. Can you even read that? Yeah, who wrote that? Who is that? That's somebody from the slaps. We're going to help discover who these killers are. Why are they being drawn to the Slap City action? Why would you buy something like that when you know that the relics on that Western with Alec or Alex Baldwin, who was also on that show with Dr. Drew, uh, a Viacom production show called, oh, we're going to have to put up our, what are we calling them? Cards. Yeah. I'm going to put some cards up now. Real things that you touch. And uh, here we go. Someone put in the waking to awakening. That's new. Tomorrow. You see, there's not a lot. Oh, someone put back our me talk pretty one day. I just graduated. Now what? Heartbreaker. Sticks and scones. Sheer dynamite. There's something in there. We don't know what it is. We're just taking this. Let's see what we win since our library is public. Praise. Thank you. All right, so I want to thank you, my Oak Grove Park. I want to thank you, my sheriffs, for not answering the phone when those trolls were going. Yeah, we need to do something with that citizen. They're not our citizens. Wherever they're from, they weren't from here. That was easy. It says it's not a public playground. I know what that means. It is private property reserved for use by residents and their guests only. I did not ask for those guests that I need to forget about. I'm not going to do that. 
I realized unless I get disability down there and right now we're just going for welfare they messed up my welfare I need to help my daughter she just came back she's been gone for five years it's because of those upstairs neighbors they have a video on their on their camera phone that um, proves my innocence I want that judge to ask them where is it if they said that they erased it I don't know isn't that some sort of crime I mean if if we get down on our our elders who are the ones leading our countries and we keep pointing out that they have Alzheimer's and dementia and bad eating habits and not being able to remember when their you know their son died maybe it was a couple years ago but it's very important for us to break down that man so when the time comes when you want that face to be whatever you guys need it to be, it'll be crippled, it'll be destroyed, and you will be the comedians who did it. Now it's my turn. I saw they put a stage at the place where before they were telling me, no, we don't want this music. It was in the year 2020. They treated me like a, a criminal. We built that Java house. I don't need newcomers who were just born telling me I didn't do that. Do you need some help? No, I'm okay. Yeah, okay. And those are boxes of photos and stuff. I'm gonna sing you a song as we're going to the social services because I don't think they're gonna. You sure? Yeah, it shouldn't. Have kept it. It's okay. uh, all right. Ah. Oh. <laughs> See ya. Um, yeah. Those are just boxes and stuff. You guys want to mess with me or her? What does she got to go do? Some jury duty now for you? Because she's had those boxes that have such important personal and classified information. You know all that stuff is only good for her. We don't need it. It's not going to help us get those terrorists. Come on, you guys. I know you're right now doing some sort of job and then putting it up in our uh, database and we're seeing it i know if you're in a gonzo journalistic uh society like we all are here uh you know we'd rather talk about real issues let's go after these terrorists why ain't anyone talking why does it have to be shh? why did i have to be pegged as a domestic terrorist because I'm showing around where I live that they can afford to redo that paint. If they wouldn't have said that I'm some sort of domestic terrorist and that I'm trespassing and that I do weird things with the paint cans that I'm using in my artwork. Oh, this used to have a, a farm. I think they did it back there actually. Oh yeah, they got an amazing garden. I'll show you, show you later on the way back. Ah, sour grass. Yeah, we used to eat that a lot as a kid. Uh, it doesn't taste the same anymore, so we don't do that. Maybe it's just us getting older and our tastes change. But no, the dirt is getting weirder through the weird, uh, you know, cracks through this. Uh, I don't know. Is this oil? Is this tar? You tell me. We'll go to the beach and we'll compare the two. Oh, I want to tell you a very sad story. Well, it wasn't sad. It was just the truth of what I tell people when they come to visit. And I show them our paradise and they go, this is such a paradise. And we went to this one huge rock that is just covered with tar. I mean, it's a huge rock. We can fit a lot of a bunch of people we actually did that for a band photo but this it's just covered with tar and my friend was looking at it with tears in his eyes and he goes oh my god is that onks and i went yeah i realized before i was going to go into my thing with the 1969 oil spill blah 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 look the water here is already stopped wow 
we said the drought was over but uh, see and so the stuff goes all the way to the ocean but it's just gonna get stuck here do so you remember we were at the park that's higher up there behind the house uh, cathedral oaks park it's um native american indian land so is this it's all it all looks the same um it's all spaghetti western-esque but isn't this fun could you imagine having this many white vehicles just sitting in the slab city you don't think that there's one county like the imperial county you really think they want to just let you guys all die that's the penitentiary behind us well it's a jail well yeah i guess it's the jail and the prison that's where we went several times and one of the times it was this um sheriff not the sheriff bill brown but sheriff mccune i'm gonna say he lived up the street and he knew me and uh, he used to have one of his sons, like, bully me. And then on his front lawn, um, have us fight, right? Then my dad would show up and be like, dude, where's my hamburger? Because he had sent me off to get a hamburger, right? But this McCune's uh, son, who I think he was the one pushing the son because the dog he had a police dog the german kind the pincher this thing would always be attacking me for no reason you guys know most animals love me except ones that were trained to go after a certain minority now i'm not gonna go back to that i'm just saying if any of you sheriffs like sheriff bill brown Bill Brown that I voted in several times. That McCune, I don't know if you have pictures of him or something, but he had your job. Just, it was only him and maybe a couple deputies. You can't tell me, Bill Brown, that Santa Barbara wasn't like that. I have a lot of people who work for the paper who would tell you, yes, no, we were here. This this person that I'm going to be going to their fictitious bookstore telling them, will you be in my movie? I'm going to start telling him this story. He'll know all the names. He'll start to say, whoa, hold on. Is this a true story? Is this, or is this historical fiction? And that's what I'm going to try to get from this fictitious bookstore, which we're calling needful things or needless needless things because instead of me going in there and finding what I want this person who's known me for a very long time and understands writing will understand all the writing references that I'm giving here they're gonna help us tell the story in the paper like we saw there Elon Musk's worst nightmare Cornelius Van Gogh, this is a cry. Ask Slab City Television. He talks to the main people who don't do these YouTube channels, but they've been under the Salvation Mountain before anyone. It's time to go to them, the elders. Just apologize whatever side is messed up with them. Add yourself. Slap City, my so-called Slap City life. Add yourself to the list. Go in there. Be part of the membership. If they're kicking you out, you have to insist. The more of you who just suddenly gang up, instead of being anarchists or sovereign nation or sovereign citizens, just agree. Don't pick up any old stories don't pick up anything that's relevant for us here just do slab city put it on the map before it be becomes taken off of the map and you have every reason to be able to do this if you didn't want to rustle or ruffle the feathers 
you have to know because otherwise you're going to be leaving the place like it's leaving Las Vegas and Fiddler on the Roof mixed up together it's going to be sad don't you want to fight we got to fight this pandemic if you haven't read Stephen King's The Stand it's about time it was written by Richard Bachman before this COVID which right now Richard Bachman has come out of the grave and he is pissed just ask Stephen King he doesn't want to talk about it. My mama knows that. Department of Social Services Dropbox. Why does it look so empty? It can't be four o'clock. Is it four o'clock? It says, welcome, bienvenue, bienvenidos. It looks so closed. Exit, job listings. Maybe we can just walk in there and grab those files. But this is the only way you guys can call me. I'll have to be here at a certain time. This is how it was done. You're gonna have to figure out what the number is. That's part of the game. But this was just like if I'm doing a low grade version of Slap City Jack just parked his car or his van here. He put an umbrella up there and he started making phone calls and he was connecting to children in other countries. We weren't saying he was messing with our kids. But the important connection here in our psychotic connection, La Jolla. I have a friend in La Jolla. It's a good place to surf. Uh, our connection to the Slab City will be the Slab City Jack. You can't say that never happened. Cornelius Van Gogh, water boy. Slab City Mad Mac, you can't say none of that happened. And you know that daddy -o is Louie. You know how I feel about Louis. He's a brother, but he's also known as the Puerto Rican Jesus in Hell's Kitchen. At least back in 1984 and 5. That's where I met Louis, in Hell's Kitchen. You guys can say it's not true. You can say, oh no, that's not the 4444. That's totally the 4444. That's where Lee McMillan needed to go. But there's a 444 right on the other side of the freeway. That's how I saw that she took the train tracks. The train tracks are right there. We bring you over to that place all the time. But she looked down in her Google and she went to the wrong place. It happens all the time. That's why we're filming you stuff going, no, the social services are here not across the street. Google never did that. Google never apologized. Nobody knows who Lee McMillan is. While well, she got trolled till she took her life. Nobody thinks that's important. It happened right here. That's not cool for you to be like, it's not important. We don't want to, we don't want to make that viral. Well, Come on, instead of us causing a scene here and making everyone hide, we're just gonna go in silently and get what the government offered us, help. You gotta rustle feathers to get help. Oh, hold on, man. Hey, man, no problem. See, now we're all holding our um, phones close to our head. So it doesn't look the same as when I first used to do these things, right? Where I came in all dressed up in black. I said all these scary things. People were wondering, why am I talking to my phone? Do not remove chair. This area is under 24 hour surveillance. All right, damn, it's five to four. Here, food ache, Alfresh, cash.
Shade, Cal Works. I don't even know what that is. General or the, the America's Job Centers, Job Training, Austin, Children Welfare Services, Adult Protective Services. There it is. Oh. Toxic AI, the Anarchist Liberation. The Anarchist Liberation Army. That's pretty beautiful. Um, libations for the Anarchist Liberation, um, but not liquid death. We're going to make it um, toxic. Hmm, what's the opposite of toxic life? All right, like van life. Yeah, we got a toxic life. I, I will get in that. One county, one future. One county, one future. The SS, Social Services, it says health, security, and safety. The cops who did the thing to my hand were from two different counties. One of them was a woman who was manhandling me. And you guys are saying I can't say manhandle? That's what she did. It wasn't a them or a they. I know it. I was in her vehicle. I heard her talking to others. So she can't do that with me. I told them I was a... Uh, I was in transition. Now, they couldn't look down at the area in question. Yeah, while well, I was naked, because it turned out neither one had the right to do that. Yeah, they were not equal with me. They didn't give the equal force to the crime. And then they never paid for taking advantage of me. I think that's the CalFresh. Yeah, food you can buy with California. EBT card, breads, and cereals. Good. Corn fructose syrup. My daughter and I just read that all the sodas that we're drinking right now, high content of this high fructose syrup which the um, government is saying it doesn't exist. We can get soft drinks, so we can buy that stuff. High corn fructose syrup. Energy drinks, I do do those. Pumpkins, gift baskets, items such as birthday cakes. <gasps> you can buy someone a birthday cake. You know how expensive that is. Foods you cannot buy. Baby diapers. They put that with the beer, wine, or liquor. You know how junk food and luxury food eligibility with California food stamps. Grooming items. Mm. So we'll know. We'll know. Seafoods such as lobster. That's... Oh, we're gonna be like steaks. Come on, people. It's time to get off grid and get on the grid. Look how well we can live. And these other things, that makes sense that we pay for it out of our pocket. I get it now. I know it sounds, um, there you go. Respond to reports of abuse or neglect of elderly or dependent adults. That means that's what they were gonna nab you on, trolls, who swatted me last time. As though I'm an elder, I am. And you were abusing me. You were. That's why eight of you disappeared. You know it. You're fearing the Lord. Fear me. Fear me, trolls. You were the terrorist. Told me to get a job. You don't even have a job. Indeed. Cottage health careers. United. These are jobs. Transportation. Yeah, I don't even... I was told not to mention for disability or something. Just not mention all the lift driving. You see how difficult that is. I have to forget 3,000 rides. Just be like, come on, pretend it never happened. It'll be easier. I guess we could just take this, huh? Let's, since it's, let's just do it ourselves. All right.
So we got applications for CalFresh. That was the thing we wanted. We wanted um, welfare. It might be in a different office, huh? That's okay. Um, Medi-Cal, I don't know if that works for me. Uh Uh-oh, wait, that's Espanol. I'm not that good yet at that kind of translation. Wait, can we get the CalFresh? All right, hold on, what is this? What do I want to take? General relief. Okay, this might be welfare. And this is, um, this, wait, it's in Spanish. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that would make it more difficult. Let's have fun, like, let's translate everything through the AI. Yeah, that'll make our life better. But there must be a reason they're not letting me in, so... That Creedon Crichton idea with the I before the E or the E before the I. We're gonna do it a little. That. That's gonna be good journalism. All right, we're gonna give them that food where they can get food. He's been waiting forever. Let's just fill these out. Come back tomorrow. Thank you. How do I get out of here? Right here. Oh. You're on the right track. Oh, thank you. I found myself. I would have been going upstairs. Yeah. And thank you. Would you. Have been <laughs> we could have gone upstairs. What's upstairs? What are they hiding from us? Come on, Deputy Nunez. I'm being accountable for everything I do. This could be painted too. I would do it. I would do it for you. It might be in one of those jobs. I'm acting weird. You think I'm acting weird? Do I need my ID? I brought my ID and my social security this time. But uh, I had them last time. I just said to the person down at the beach, this Ventura officer, I need it. The one who kept saying, give us the phone. Give us the phone. It wasn't Bill Brown and his team. It was this other team, and then they quietly were saying, why are you guys acting this hardcore? And they said, active shooter. They didn't even want me to know what I had been accused of. And that was the first swatting. That meant they've done it four more times. What's upstairs? Is that where you're going to deal with me? Who knows? Look at that flag and the California flag. I'm happy to be here. Those were those buses. Oh, hold on. Slab City. Um, My so-called life. I was saying at the time when you were saying they were all dying, I was saying that 
I'm sure Imperial County could have sent in three of these buses, maybe four, with a couple nurses from over here. Since Lompoc and Santa Maria, which are super far away, could just send their cops. What about San Bruno? They could just ping my phone. They sent me the paperwork. They said it was okay that they searched my place. See, I got all in it by another county. So I was like, what about Ventura? What's closest to you guys? Coachella. Coachella couldn't do it? Well, we just found out right from that new place, Java Hut. Well, it's not new, but the new baristas, one of them brought me back to... Dude, I went from being asexual, for sure, saying I will never with anyone ever again. It'll just make our friendships easier, I learned. And I'll know if you're my friend first before you're fooling around with whatever was down there. I'm back to that. So I'm naked and I'm yelling at him at one, like the girl is manhandling me and I say, you can't search me. And then the man started manhandling me and I went, well, you can't search me either. I'm in transition. And I said, look, look at what they've done to me. And they would not stare at my member. Have you ever been there in your own house, in your own private house, your own private Idaho, it turned out? Because they were working on another state of mind, which it turns out in our place, it's just another county. Now, why would they have come all the way here? Because they were delivering someone from the penitentiary, I guess a little dangerous or a little special. And they had no room at the inn at the San Luis Obispo um, Penitentiary or the Lompoc Penitentiary or the Santa Maria Jail and Penitentiary. So they brought him here just to wait. That's when I learned they get to pick out whatever penitentiary they want. So all those things that those dudes were saying on those prison channels was completely false and they got millions of views. You don't think I can get a little jealous of that? Hold on, they can just send P. Diddy into some place? Pop some weird word? Pop your daddy? Now, daddy-o has the SOS on his head for saying the word kids. Wow. You guys are real trash. And you don't pick up after yourselves. See, this would be a perfect place to make a camp doing that stealth camping. But you guys mess it up. You leave all these clues. They're gonna put a fence. They do it everywhere. everywhere. Why are you messing up this land? There's so many places to, to do this, but why are you leaving the trash? I mean, stick it in something, like a bag. That's what... Steve Martin said in one of his bits, just fill that bag up and then just throw it in a street or something afterwards, throw it in here. But if you leave it all like this, it's just gonna fly around like the dust in the slabs. And if you don't think there's some trash out there, well, oh, oh. where do you think the paint was coming from? That's not true. I just heard on one of Slap City Television's videos, so you don't even trust those old timers who were talking? It's not him now. It's not you guys pretending that he was exploiting you guys. No, you guys wanted more from him. You guys scared him to the point where he thinks anyone who doesn't take a shower isn't worthy he just kept saying to you guys whoa just take a shower try that get a job and you know that's very hard to do dude i guess you don't talk you never talk to nomadic zig you don't talk to community cause you don't really talk to anyone i'm not talking to you carlos i'm talking to everyone who's like right there and that's the problem because all we do is talk about you guys, but it's these trolls. We're like talking to trolls about what do they know about doing stealth camping? I don't, I think they're in a swamp somewhere collecting DT's uh, 
commemorative gun. Don't you think that sucks? You let him back in the 2020 sell that with its phrase, you know, the swamp and the scum and whoa, drain it, drain you, drain me. But look, four, 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 four. Not the bar. Not the bar that has that sign that looks like cheers, da ba da ba dum ba, where everyone knew my name. They're gonna know my name here. Because my eldest daughter, we came here. You guys remember, right? You don't you don't care about my eldest daughter? She's the one who wrote this tune. You never give me any of this. That I can just say to any of you. You never give me valid information. You type out things that upset me. And then you don't accept that it's a trigger word when it's a game. Like my daughter said, you're going to wake up. You don't know what you're doing here. You don't know which door, but you can tell, look, that's like a little garden for the kids. We got to believe. You got to believe me now. Please, you guys. Toxic AI has left, so maybe the socializ socialization scared you off, and that is normal for us. Um, or you needed to go smoke, and you know we can't. But it's good, right? I'm quitting the cigarettes right now, and I'm back to just drinking good coffee. So no um, McDonald's coffee, but it looks like the Cal Fresh is going to pay for my use of... Uh, No guns, knives, or weapons allowed. There it is. No photography or filming. Yeah. That's where we stopped. We brought my daughter in there. And I turned the camera off. We were playing by the rules. And instead, you sent me trolls to pretend that I was triggering them, it turned out. So that I would stop supposedly to help this daughter and you guys never helped and then you come back after we fixed the whole situation without you and we told you that triggers us when you say go get help and you don't get us the help or take our hand and walk us there you can say that we're not worth it then stay off of our program but we're forced to allow you on the program because if we don't have you saying your nasty bits we can't show our naughty bits yeah you made it that way i was ready i showed my naughty bits but it was behind the cello you guys couldn't even imagine what a cello looks like i asked you write it down what did i do how do you know that being a naked cellist on the YouTube, you know, how do you know? And this gonzo journalist at least called and said he knew. He said, are you really naked behind that cello? Interesting. So he doesn't say if the sound quality is good or if he liked the piece or if he'd like me to play more. He did read what it said. It said using a Kevin Hart routine from his last show on Netflix and he told us all he said hey just show some skin and you'll make it big on YouTube I tried it right it, it didn't really work it was maybe the skin that I was showing the color of my skin oh discrimination was it my age oh discrimination was it that I have a big nose and everyone thinks we're part of this Jewish conspiracy of you know having these tattoos on our certain places of our body. That's what I was asking this manhandling lady and these other guys, like, stare at it. Look what China did to me. I was telling everyone I wanted to go to Mexico. Slap City Television, Carlos knows that. 
Water Boy does too. Johnny Hash Brown knows that. Chicano Steve with his gang out there on the east side. He knows. He knows about the Serge Knight connection. He knows that Serge Knight hid behind Tupac. Used him as a human shield. But he was too hefty. But the wrong person was placed in a hefty bag. That's one of the red ones. The red ones were the helicopters that in Goodfellas, once the cocaine really took hold, he's driving around always seeing that these red helicopters were following, following him. In my dream, right, they're falling from the sky. I asked my doctor, what does that dream mean? These helicopters dropping and me and my ex running from something that's flying from the sky. The sky is falling. Uh, my doctor said easily, he stopped me. He said, please don't go on. You always do that. I, don't know. I get it. And well, it's the fear of uh, it not working out. The fear of failure. Oh man, look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we're in, that's everywhere. It's um, that fire. Remember my daughter was saying some fires from far away, it starts, um, yeah, wow. Do you guys see this? <sighs> well, that's not gonna be good for my mom, huh? She doesn't have any filtration or anything. We can get in that car. That car's got all these different filters. They said it could even filter out the COVID. And um, that's what I said in 2019 at the Coachella Festival to all the uh, clients who were going in and out of my car. And that's why, that's why Gansbor is in my car right now in the computer. And that's why the computer is talking French to me. Um, that's why the computer is just doing the weirdest things. The other day it just said, hey, brakes, I'm not going to make them work anymore and i was like why are you doing that and he said because you didn't change the the oil not the brake fluid the oil the car is getting upset and sabotaging me for what i did in coachella in 2019 but we're worried about the 2020 because they took all those videos away that's what we are really worried about because in those videos in the description boxes was the book everything was there in order the the algorithm got confused as usual and just scattered them in any old order even though i wrote this is number one this is part two this is three for some reason something got missing i just say they took it. My mama said, who is they? I don't know. They might not want us to say they. But all I know is it got removed. Wouldn't you be like freaked if you did all this art and it just got removed? And then when you're telling the police who needs to like, you know, write something down like, hey, let's send this to a lawyer or a judge. They just went, we don't have time for this story. We just got to deal with this one thing. <laughs> Do you know where Don Henley lives? I know. Deputy Nunez, you know you were, you were great. And you know I can always get the, the footage from the body cams to show how everyone was doing it perfectly. Um, but what about those two? What about those two who messed me up mentally and physically? They don't get any reprimanding? Are they at the level of Donald Trump? Because then now I'm worried if I ever go through Lompoc, if I get stopped, oh, I won't get stopped by correctional officers. I don't know, it happened before. 
There's a movie with um, Brooke Shields. I always remember Brooke Shields, huh, when I see this. Um, and at the end, I don't know, it was two underage kids on an island. They don't have parents anymore. So it's kind of like um, a low-grade Lord of the Flies. Uh, but there was some nudity in it, right? So, you know, really hardly any. Um, so I guess when we saw it when we were 13, we were like, whoa, I didn't know other 13-year-olds could get paid for doing this kind of movie, right? Because it was like um, your own private Idaho or something. It was really strange. There was like no script, but at the end they die, right? Because they eat those berries, those same ones. That's why I always remember her. Uh, I saw her on a, a sitcom too. That set off something. Uh, there was someone at middle school uh, when I was in eighth grade, uh, Wendy Griffiths. She was new to, we all knew each other from the year before and then she showed up from some exotic place. I don't remember where it was. And she looked just like Brooke Shields and wow. Yeah, we were all enthralled, girls and boys. Um, Wendy, we, me we miss you. I think I saw you once at some sort of get together. But I was in a really bad place. In my mind, uh, I was sober. And then uh, I had my daughter there at the time. Um, she was just a baby. So I was in this other point of mind. And we did talk, and I think you said something like you would help me. Like you were a... Um, you did. I'm, I know you You worked for like A&M Records or something. Uh, and you were going to help Bella Lugosi, but then, you know, I never followed through. Ah, that stuff, I hate promoting myself. So, I mean, there was a time I forced myself to do it. Now that I see everything's AI, wow, well, I don't... I mean, who needs to play? I, I'm just going to insert here what I want my perfect cellist and then I'll stick my head on there the perfect face and stick it in a tree and say it's me isn't that John Lennon we're always coming back to John Lennon alright so John Lennon thought that Paul McCartney's music was Muzak to his ears so that would be cool water remember I'm always saying there's this machine cool water that's the one and he said Paul McCartney's music uh, sounded like that and well, do you want to know what's on the top of this cool water list that you all see? It's always going to be Sir Lord. I have nothing against Paul McCartney. My stepfather loved wings. Can you believe it? This Charles Bronson of a dude who was scaring me. Yeah, I was always being fed these people where they were contradicting themselves with their music. They care about my goals. See, I'm not making fun of this. What does it say? Last update, 3-17-2020. That's the latest update for all the legal resources. <gasps> awesome. So these people are going to be like, where were you back in 2020? Look what it, is. Well, look what it says. Lompoc Legal Resource Center. The first thing. So that means if I go after this officer, I'm going to be going after the Lompoc. Um, look, Lompoc Public Defender. Santa Maria. This is amazing. It has nothing from Santa Barbara. You guys heard it. I said one was from Santa Maria. There they are. All it is is Santa Maria legal sources and defenders, public defenders, public defenders, and Lompoc Public Defenders. All right, they're going to know from Santa Barbara. You see, they are a team. It was a chain. It was a chain. These are governmental officials. They got the little marks. That one says 4985. I'm not doxing them. They, I mean, dude, we're in a public parking lot. There's some EVs over there. Are we not allowed to use them when you said you cared? about my goals. My goals are to get one of these electric vehicles. I would love it, but not the ones with the lithium battery. So I will be 
Once again, Elon Musk's worst enemy. This should mean something. Education. Let's see. Head Start. Head Start. County Child Development. Santa Barbara Business. You see, everything that's going to be with education, it's going to be Santa Barbara. So right now they're saying we stand behind our teachers. So that will be me for the past 30 years. Not those 27-year-olds who could use a proper education. And I know they were against my rights. And you know what? I'm going to ask for a free interpreter. And just like Putin did with, uh, with Pussy Riot and make them say their name out loud in front of these Russian crowd in Ukrainian, making it sound so worse. I'm going to have my free interpreter in whatever language the judge, it's their second language. That's what my interpreter is going to do. And it's going to be romantic and it's going to be a language that is Latino. This place, Santa Barbara, is Latino. You can't touch us. You cannot touch us. So stop bringing in this, which is not AI. You're going to say it's fake. So say it. I want to know the 20 people in my California who got this. Who got this before we see this person wearing those Adidas for $399 gold plated and carrying this, the 45th, it says, promises made, promises kept. Really? You got lower taxes. Good for you. You really care. Well, let's see. We're going to do it like this. If I win here, I'm going to take his side. Just because you know. He's going to make it so the least amount of taxes is taken from this, okay? Now, children, they're going to always make you think you need a quarter. This, my daughter was freaking out, like going, I don't know how to do this. You can just use your fingernail. You're going to see things get under your fingernail. Never get out like La Playa dust from Burning Man. All right, so this girl that I met, that I fell in love with, right, this barista, uh, she started talking right away about saying we met in this other place because Burning Man wasn't happening and neither was Coachella. And I knew about that because I was still driving for Lyft and I was like in Coachella going, oh, whoa, there's not, nobody's here. It's not like last time when I met the child of Gansport, who was on a show and really freaked out Whitney Houston. Houston, Whitney Houston was found in a bathtub afterwards. Um, they said it was Coke, but we know it's bath salts. Christian Pfaff, also, they found bath salts while they were in the bath. I know what you're saying. You think I'm funny because I'm seeing everything black and white, but what if? I mean, seriously. What if those bath salts, you don't really eat someone's face off? It's not face off like the Breaking Bad. Do you remember that? Whoa. I still see his face. How cool. The dude, you know, he has no skin left, nothing. And he just puts his, like, sunglasses on. Walks out the door with half of his face blown off. Now, I'm glad they didn't ban that particular thing because I'm sure the kids need to know how to set explosives um, to somebody's wheelchair while they're going ding, 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 ding. You tell me, kids. I'm going to be reading you that rage. Do you see where it says compact car? Was their car really compact? See how it fits still? Why write that? Why put it with that black and white? What is the chemicals that they use so that it works so well? Anyways, let's see if we're gonna, if Biden wins or if this man wins. 
See, they should have this gun and have his mug shot instead of us going, call today to learn more about this exclusive firearm and how you can claim one for yourself. Explanation marks. It looks like a toy. It was out of a kid's novel for, like, parents, I guess. Look what it says. States try blocking Trump's pro-gun reform, showing need for good judges. What did he do? He bought off the judges, and he's selling guns that kids could buy, and they're relics. So don't you know that Alec or Alex Baldwin, like, shot someone with a relic? But also this same Alec Baldwin, or Alex, was in this reality show called Drug Re He did something so vile that he forced a person to get out of their wheelchair and say, F you, take that back. And he was smiling, he was smirking because he knew that this character from a sitcom called Taxi. This taxi-esque something happened. They had something in the anal cavities of their person and the other person had guessed it and knew it was these bath salts, but they didn't know that the bath salts were gonna open up in this condom or whatever balloon was being used. It ate through it. Of course, it's bath salts. Why didn't they find it for Whitney Houston? They weren't looking for it. They found cocaine. Why didn't they find it with Christian Pfaff? They weren't looking for it. They found heroin. Why didn't they check Kurt Cobain? Well, because it said what? A whole bunch of heroin. And what did Fauzi or whoever was the person telling us about the COVID? What are they gonna say, these doctors? It was the heroin, it's impossible. And only an elephant. When, when have we been doing testing with heroin on elephants? Do you see there's going to be some people like us who are going to question you? And you're going to say, well, that's not exactly what I mean. But I do mean it. And he does mean it. He says, call to order yours today. It says Trump 2020. He thought he was going to win. This is the thing that made us go, we're voting other this time. Now, if you really want this guy, you got to join our team so that he will become the winning team. We don't support one side or the other, but we're just showing you we already know who's going to win, and that's the B word. Sorry, he doesn't even want to be there. But if you want this, then you gotta just call me and start saying what you, you why? Tell me why. What did he do? That's so cool. Why will it be better? What would you have done? What would he have done in the year 2020? Are you saying? Eric Erlinson. Yeah, we suspect him of giving Christian Pfaff this bath salts instead of something else that she wanted. Um, Eric Erlinson, who would become the guitar player in whole on a whole level of uh, something. You see, the AI is not going to, when it hears me, it's not going to know Creedon, Criden, Potato, Petito, Whole, Whole, PC. Is it PC on my PC? You understand, we're going to keep finding these words. We win when an AI is not going to be able to figure out the pun. Now, if we got humans that can't figure out a pun or keep pushing these weird anti-PC jokes that we can't accept, it's not like we don't think you guys are hilarious. I bet you've been told that. Let's get back to Eric Erlinson. It was a true underground scene that also had connections to DC. Washington, D.C. was the home to Fugazi. Oh, man, do you remember hearing Fugazi for the first time? As well as Dave Grohl's previous band, Scream. Now, Scream, who played with Scream? Um, Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. And he also played with Fear. 
and we have a Christmas album by Fear, those punk rockers, with Flea. It's awesome. They knew what a good bass player is. Now, isn't this interesting? This, it is showing him playing the bass. Maybe he was adding bass and being like, look, Chris, uh, Chris, um, this is the way you play. Now, we have a poster from this session, and they allow him to smoke, and it's really beautiful because we would never do that. That's another thing. He wanted to go to Europe because in a studio, they weren't like, hey, you can't smoke because it's the law. It just means, hey, for this particular recording, we're going to allow it. And everyone says, like, oh, it's going to mess up our systems and stuff. But no. We have ways of protecting things from this smoke. So puff away. That wasn't what killed him. So he's playing the bass. It does look like it would be... I don't know. This must be a mirror image, right? So it would have been flipped the other way for him to... No, that's right. No, I'm sorry. That would be left-handed. Look, he had little marks to show him where to play. I know you guys are going to go, no, blah, blah, blah. But what if? What if he just needed, you know? Bum, 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 bum. What if he just needed that? That's what he was doing. He was tuning any which way, just what his ear made it sound so pretty. But the cellists who were from certain schools uh, were trains that you had to tune to this A440 and he was not tuned to that. At least for those tunes where there was a cello and the cellist didn't seem to hear that they were out of tune. My daughter heard the recording and said, oh, well, I can't tell that it's out of tune. And I'm like, but Albini fixed it. I had just told her that, you know, three minutes before. I said, luckily, Albini fixed it. Um, but then she was like, I can't hear it. And I'm like, oh, I know, nobody can. It really wasn't important. But I was trained to be like, whoa, when you hear fake false notes, when it's these artificial harmonics, ugh. If you put them all together, it becomes that music where, ugh, but maybe Frank Zappa might go, wow, for a little while, that's actually pretty awesome, these tones that are in between, and then let's stick them together and be like some really out-of-tune orchestra, um, an elementary school orchestra, if they even play that young anymore. Nobody's talking. The chat is on. It's so cool. I want to thank you guys. You did learn, right? You're like, damn, he is seriously having us just kicked off of the platform if we start misspelling or have any connection to him when we don't like what he's saying. Yeah. Don't you think it's a good thing, though? If I, if I find out you don't like Clutch Coffee, if you don't like coffee at all, you won't want to know the other stories. You won't want to go to their Facebook or their Twitter or their Twitch. You won't find out that... It was Ashton Couture down south here, just 20 minutes away. The one who made the apology to the Scientology with his wife, Mila. Mila Kunis, I'm sorry, she's adorable. She's Ukrainian. They were sending borscht from where they were down that 101 freeway. Um, where, of course, there's no... It's a dead zone in that carpenteria. And we walked around and... Everyone said they never see Ashton or this Mila Kunis, but they know that they were sending all this borscht to these Ukrainian kids. Now, if they get online right now and the Scientologists hear that the prisoners are saying that we got to bring Ashton Kutcher inside because he was feeding these kids and that the prisoners know. You know what kids mean, right? You guys told me, dude. This P. Diddy, we got to take him in. We got to take him in jail and then tag an SOS on him and explain to him we don't like you doing that with kids. You don't like him allowing his kids to play with other kids who, you know, some of their friends were kids and they got killed in this army. They were an army. They got killed by the army. 
Even the neighbors joined in. Everyone picked a side. You guys got to pick a side now. Slap City, I'm serious now. I know you guys are hating my my essays. Done by my essay. Uh, Carlos, hey, didn't you like the essay that was sent to you for your, you know, we know you didn't really read Lord of the Flies or understand it, but that essay was interesting. It really made a nice coded wording thing for the government to pass in uh, in war times nobody will know the difference nobody will understand the code but it was brilliant and you were so well dressed you were amazing you took that shower you showed them what would happen if you just suddenly all dressed in white and you were ready to go to church could everyone do that suddenly not kkk white not those white cars that are, I guess, cheaper. But the truth of it is, no, they were just governmental. And since everyone else was out of town, out of breath, inside of their houses, hiding because of the COVID. Uh, we don't do smitties. We do love towing. And that is our neighbor. They have a towing service and they love to tow us away from the police who might want to tow us to their thing. Now, their thing, they're going to make it hard for you to go back and get it. You're going to see they charge a lot just to hold on to it for an hour. Yeah. So remember that when you're here, people, call Loves, and Loves will make sure it doesn't get towed to them. Aha, who's them? I don't know. The government or the people who are towing your car? You see, there's always nobody here. There used to be a whole bunch of um, slabbers um, parked there. But look, they just stuck some more slabs, cement slabs. They blocked it. That's all. Look, there's that dude, Quest Diagnostics. They used to come out, just jump out of their car in these hazmat suits and just, uh, yeah, do these tests on you. We want to test if you got the COVID. You don't believe it's true. If you saw Brazil, just the first 10 minutes, you would have. Oh, wow, this is going to be hard. Yeah, to go up that hill. Wow, look at the richness on the top. Yeah, that's our plantation. Master, he's looking down at me right now. He's saying that, you see where it says CHP, but just call the sheriff. The sheriff is right there, 681-4100. If you keep calling, saying they need to come after me, and they don't, you're probably calling the wrong place. Do you know what area code you're supposed to call? You don't. You just said you did. That's what's making this very difficult, sheriffs. They're hassling me. I'm being told to just get offline. I would if I didn't have to do these hours since you said the last time it was YouTube who sent these officers and they were worried for me or something. Like I had to understand why everyone was concerned for me. Interesting, I thought. I'm just saying that our character says that. He says interesting, he says no a lot. He says but a lot. He's just thinking up, what's he gonna say next? Have you ever done that? Where you just do these hours? Nothing's written down. Everyone I know hates this way of doing things, but I keep remembering certain things. Hey, buddy. Oh, you're beautiful. Oh, cats and dogs and animals. You hear the? I'm going to show you the garden instead. We're going positive now. We're good things. Oh, she knows. Ah, she's like, ah, that person just ruined my day. They're saying, I know, kid. I'll be quick. It's my voice. My voice is grating. 
they told me. And I was telling him, dude, have you ever talked for like a thousand, um, two hundred and ninety-nine hours? And they said, no way. They're always correcting me, right? They said, no way. You've done way more than that. And I said, I know that, but isn't that weird? I should have at least 1,500 hours, but I don't. It's getting less and less as I do more and more hours. Um, somebody, my mod just said, shh, don't talk about it. It's my mod. If I don't like talk to my mod and say, hey, take out these bad elements, or if Sarah doesn't explain to my mod what being a mod is, or if Cornelius Van Gogh, oh, that's a beautiful bird, um, doesn't tell my mod. I mean, Cornelius has several. Cornelius Van Gogh has several mods. Why don't, I mean, I have one who uh, doesn't want to do the job. Oh, that's so wild. Hi. So beautiful, this. So beautiful. It, it's, it, it's really grown since, I think it was on the other side, right? Before there was a garden? No. Wow. It's just like, it's the best. Dur during the COVID, when there was nobody. 3D and be your neighbors upstairs. There's something up there they have a special attic what's up there in the story we could say that they were keeping someone up there and we would make that a window we could do that with artificial intelligence we would write that it's artificial intelligence and then we could do something crazy make it real they will allow it because we will be saying nope that's artificial look there and they'll be like oh yeah you're using our tool you've paid for an entire year you're in the system this is what they did on that road remember i said oh here's the slabs it would have been like slab city yeah they wrote no parking it's that easy right you had to we no van lifer is allowed remember that snoopy thing when it was always like no dogs allowed well no outlet anyways there yeah watch if you come to find me that's the no outlet that brings you to the sheriff they are like 300 feet from the house so i guess that might be up there it might not be the hill behind us it might be the hill over there and there already is a thing see there's one of those at&t things and then the verizon things i was talking about right where it bounces off of them they're up there on the top i i'd zoom in but yeah and then i know you see that no dogs in the park we used to just bring our dog but it was only us there used to be a slide here they took it out there used to be swings they took it out the basketball court now has a sign on it right only private so yeah correctional officers please do not come here with your with your children if you are connected to that Lompoc Santa Maria incident at my house all right loop is done let's go home and let's go see the pride and joy of my house which is my my daughter and when my other daughter was there, and if my son comes to visit, that will be there, and they'll all know me. Now there's the TV cable, and you know I'm connected to that cable since 1976. You can't tell me it's not true. Go and prove it. You're gonna know that Mr. McCune, the sheriff who was up the street in that story, well, his younger son um, never attacked me. And I actually, when I was still driving for Lyft, drove him home. 
uh, to his house, which turned out to be that house that I showed you. And uh, it was during the COVID times and I picked him up at a restaurant, no, a bar. That was the same one when I was 13 where I went to pick up my dad when he was drunk. Now this bar back then was called the Golden Cock. Uh huh. Laugh it off. But it lasted for pretty long. I was old enough to be like, well, I know that they're talking about an animal. Mm, There was an animal, my stepfather, inside that place. That is poetic. Can you see the moon is almost full and it's up there? Yeah, someday. Someday before I pass away, I might get a GoPro or something. One of the people watching, one of you who has a channel, I already saw you, you were just like, I should just give this away to my fans. And then you didn't do it. And one of you offered me a, a broken um, GoPro. And I said, I'll take that. Uh, no, it turned out it was just, we just say stuff like that. It's not real. We just say it. I'm kind of tired of that. Yeah, I I, I knew it with that doll. That's when I learned, you know, I'm I'm just giving um, pearls to swine. I showed you that doll. Obviously a thing that was going to be on eBay selling totally at the, for the high price and it's a figure that people were searching for and extra accessories and it's never been opened and it's like before your time and you said yeah all right i'll send you 20 dollars i knew you weren't going to do that but had you you would have gotten it for 20 dollars but if wtif if you had not lied and just sent the $20, you'd have like $500 right now if you sold it on eBay. Why didn't you do that? I don't know, ask your parents. I'd not be teaching you about good capitalistic possibilities. Yeah, I don't know why. Hi, voltage rock and roll. Do 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 high voltage rock and roll high voltage high voltage ow 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 yeah it would be sad right if they stuck if they paved paradise and put up a parking lot Uh, That's not AI, that is.